Here it is, the number one contenders match. Between Ben Stevens and Ice Wilson. Profit coming, his new manager, the new manager of Benjamin Stevens. Oh, Ben getting right in the face of referee Manda Mandinson. Here he comes. Crowd's favourite, Ace Wilson. Ice Wilson. At 240 pounds, he is the Aboriginal assassin, Ice Wilson. Ice Wilson was supposed to have a championship match against Zach Sabbath at the YMCA on July the 14th. But Zack Sabbath was mysteriously beaten up by the mysterious Man Mountain and the mysterious Ben Stevens. Couldn't make the match, so Ace Wilson took on Mike Boomer. Zack came back out for the save after a little bit of a beatdown. And Ace is feeling a little bit sore that he's not getting the championship match tonight. And let's get to hear what Prophet's got to say. That's true. Now the thing is, you know, I know, and the freight train knows. Yeah, that's right. The Sabbath will not give you a title shot. So what you should be doing is just lay down. You don't get the number one contender spot. Just lay down. He's not going to give it to you. Ace Wilson needs to lay down. What? What? He, Ace Wilson just won the match in 3-4 seconds! I didn't even have time to commentate the match! Ace Wilson is the new number one contender! That is so cheap! That is so cheap! I'm sure he had a handful of tights or a handful of back or a handful of stomach or something. Snake Pit Pro Wrestling returns to the Hillcrest Community Centre this Saturday night, the 25th of August. Come and see all your favourite Snake Pit superstars in action. Ringside seats $20, general admission $15. Book your tickets now on 0402 472 564 or visit the website 
at www.thesnakepit.com.au. Live your dream with the Snake Pit Wrestling Academy. Have you ever wanted to be a professional wrestler, manager, valet or referee? You can do it all at the Snake Pit Wrestling Academy. Visit the website at www.thesnakepit.com.au for more information or phone us on 04 02 472 564. Live your dreams with the Snake Pit Wrestling Academy. This is John E. Reddick telling you to come to the Nolunga Leisure Centre Saturday, September 1st for Wrestle War 2. You'll see John E. Reddick, Ace Wilson, Mike Boomer, Ringside $15, General Mission $12, Kids Under 5 free. For bookings call 0402-472-564 or go to www.thestakepit.com.au for more details. Because this is John E. Reddick, the best wrestler in the world! Paul Roberts, you announced this. You announced Baby Bobby Viper as his opponent. This means more of a martyr. He's going to be sold up the river. He's, he is, this is the worst possible outcome. If the best possible outcome of this match is he doesn't die. Well, that's it. Here we go. Beautiful Bobby V is going to take on the humongous Jackal. The man that's doing all of Johnny Raddick's dirty work here at Snake Pit. We still Bobby. don't know a lot about this guy. Seems that Johnny Raddick brought him into Snake Pit. His empire is folded, but this is a one-man empire. 
Oh! Well, Bobby V has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at the Jackal. And no effect. Oh, look out. Well, he's on the outside with Johnny Reddick. That's not a good place to be either. The referee definitely has to keep an eye out. Oh, oh! Beautiful Bobby went to fly off the ring apron at the Jackal. The Jackal stands aside, just punches him. Right in the, the liver shot. Yeah. Not only did he punch him, but he punched him pinpoint precision in the liver. That is almost a knockout punch right there. I think, I think the Jackal is surprised he's broken a sweat. Well, with the Jackal, you're seeing the strength just holding. I'm afraid he's going to drop them on these fans. Oh, look at this for strength. Three. Bobby V from standing on the floor of the outside over the top rope and back into the ring. He says he thinks he may have thrown out his shoulder. Now, I don't think this guy needs any arms to beat baby Bobby Viper. I've had some great matches with baby, but I'm not six foot nine. I may be Australia's strongest man, but I'm no, this guy's huge. This guy is an absolute monster. No doubt we'll find more out about him as we, we progress along. At Snake Pit Pro Wrestling. Beautiful Bobby, a little bit of offense, but it's still not enough to do any real damage to the Jackal. Oh! Oh! Just about Huge drove him through the back. That was massive, Michael. He's going for the cover. There it is. No, Bobby. No Green. way. Bobby Viper kicks out. Well, I was about ready to go back to the ring for that one, Michael. Oh, I thought it was all the over. for the ring bell. I thought that was it. Baby Bobby has some amazing fighting in him. Him and I have had some classic matches that I have mentioned, but that was impressive. Oh, the strength once again of the Jackal. Holding beautiful Bobby V up high. Here we go this time. Oh, he's done it again. And he managed to kick out again. Unbelievable, Michael Baby Weaver. Bobby! I'm almost getting on the Baby Bobby bandwagon! This kid's showing that next gear! That's He's showing what it takes! That is 120% heart inside that ring, Michael. I think his heart just came through his chest on that big power slam! Look out! Once again! Will this be the third and final time? The Jackal not going for the cover. Oh. That is it.
Snake Pit Pro Wrestling returns to the Hillcrest Community Centre this Saturday night, the 25th of August. Come and see all your favourite Snake Pit superstars in action. Ringside seats, $20. General admission, $15. Book your tickets now on 0402 472 564 or visit the website at www.thesnakepit.com.au. South Australia's leading brand of sports entertainment is Snake Pit Pro Wrestling. As seen on Wednesday and Saturday nights on C31, Snake Pit Pro Wrestling is a professional wrestling league offering the most exciting sports entertainment around. Tag Team, three-way elimination, the 40-man Royal Rumble. It's big, it's hectic and it's live. We also specialise in unique birthday party experiences for anyone aged five and up. Invite up to 50 friends and family for a private wrestling show. It'll be one of the most memorable birthday party experiences available. See all the action from Snake Pit Pro Wrestling. This is John E. Raddick telling you to come to the Nolunga Leisure Centre Saturday, September 1st for Wrestle War 2. You'll see John E. Raddick, Ace Wilson, Mike Boomer, Ringside $15, General Mission $12, Kids Under 5 free. For bookings call 0402-472-564 or go to www.thestakepit.com.au for more details. Because this is John E. Raddick, the best wrestler in the world!
Well, Johnny Gone, look for the quick start there. Look at maybe a single leg, chop block, going straight for the knees. Ace Wilson is known to wear huge knee braces. He's had a lot of knee injuries during his time in wrestling. So Johnny has definitely pinpointed that as a strategy. Oh, there he's going for it. He's going for the power single. Just drives through, pops the hips. Could not quite get the, the larger, much larger man, Ace Wilson down. Ace Wilson with those big right hands. Ace Wilson hits harder than any man I've ever felt in Snake Pit. And a match with him at Norlunga. He, I was left with two black eyes. So much swelling, he beat the hell out of me. Huge slam. Ace Wilson is not classically trained in Muay Thai, but he understands the philosophy. Eight limbs, two hands, two elbows, two feet and two knees. He will utilize all of them in his matches. Absolutely the Aboriginal assassin, Ace Wilson. One of the premier strikers in Snake Pit. We've said it many times before, Michael. Very deserved of that Snake Pit championship. Of course, he's had a bit of a rough, rocky road getting there, Michael. And he's still got hurdles in his way. Johnny Raddick. Do you believe in the, the, the Max Prophet? Do you think that Zach's duck and ace? I wouldn't say Zach Sabbath is exactly ducking ace. These two have certainly had their differences just lately. He didn't, he didn't, he had a perfect opportunity to wrestle him at Craig Wall YMCA and he He came didn't out with show. his ribs bandaged up, Michael. But who saw him get attacked? Well, that, that is yet to be known. I reckon Zach's ducking him. I have to believe Max Prophet of this. Max Prophet has never done anything. Oh, this is what Ace Wilson's going to have to watch. The oh, jackal. Oh, block. And, of course, we know the history of knee damage with Ace Wilson. You can see that big knee brace. Drops those knees right across that ankle. Last week, only seven short days ago, Benjamin Stevens targeted that knee, targeted that ankle. And Ben Stevens, like 500 pounds, targeting an ankle. Yeah, well, that's definitely what, not 100%. That's exactly what Johnny Raddick's doing right now. He's taken away that limb of Ace Wilson. Ace is trying to fight. Just wrenching, that, using that middle rope as extra leverage. Oh, Johnny just kicking away at the ankle, at the knee. Like I said, the key factor in this match is standing on the outside of the ring. The big jackal. Oh, nearly seven foot of the jackal. So much power in that kick just, just oh. took Ace Wilson out. Look at that knee. I think he, I think that's definitely done some damage. That's that's gone for the point of hurt. That's now looking at injury now, Paul. Look at that leverage, just twisting, using Johnny using his own leg to stretch out, stretch out Ace Wilson. Oh, look at Figure Four. Not even letting Ace Wilson get to his feet. Oh, Johnny Raddick's now got Ace in the corner. Tries to chop away at the big oak tree. That is Ace Wilson. Ace not putting up with that. Ace Wilson chops harder than anybody. Oh! I have scar tissue. And that's exactly why, Michael. I have scar oh. tissue on my chest from Ace Wilson. Johnny Raddick would just about have a crack sternum from the, the chops that he's receiving from Ace Wilson. Oh, double chop. Interesting. You saw him hobble them by throwing those right hands. Right hands, he powers off that injured oh, foot. Oh, one, one legged basically takes him over in the suplex. Johnny's not a big man, but that is still impressive. You got to drive through on suplexes, drive through the lower half like you do with punches. Punches up from the hand, they're from the body. You drive through. And Ace Wilson's knee buckled. He buckled when he threw that right hand. Oh, big hit to the top of the head of Ace Wilson. 
drops Those another unprotected one. Protected elbows right across the bridge of the nose. We saw Jake Viper get opened up on elbow. No, oh, this is it. This is what I said, Michael. Johnny distracting the referee, the Jackal, doing a number on Ace Wilson on the outside. Now Johnny drops with the axe handle off the ring apron. Going to have to watch the count on the outside of the ring oh! here, Michael. Ace Wilson moved. Johnny Raddick's injured right hand, maybe even the more injured. Johnny begging, pleading Ace Wilson in the middle of the ring. Big slam. Is the knee drop? Oh. I was just about to ask, is the knee drop the smartest option Not for, for Ace, Ace Wilson. Wilson right now? And it really didn't pay off. Johnny Raddick, tenacious. Have you ever seen him with this much ferocity? Well, I mean, Johnny Raddick wants that Snake Pit Championship back around his waist. He knows he's only two wins away from doing that, Michael. He beats Ace Wilson here. He will go on to face the winner of the Big Tables match main event tonight, and the that, Man Mountain and Zack Sabbath. And with the Jackal at ringside, that definitely looks like it's a big possibility. Johnny Raddick might be the new Snake Pit oh. Heavyweight Champion if the Jackal has anything to say with it. What a smart move by Johnny Raddick. Figure four leg lock in the middle of the ring. What do we always say, Paul? What is the key to knowing veteran wrestling? It is ring positioning. Johnny has him right in the middle. Ace Wilson is miles from those ropes. It is only mere feet, but it will feel like miles. Oh, Ace slowly inching his way to the uh, the bottom rope. Trying his hardest. He can, you can see the pain. Oh, Johnny's let go of that figure four. Oh, it drags him back in the ring. Middle of the ring, locks it on again. Love him or hate him, great move by Johnny Raddick. It's just, it's just veteran instincts. It is second nature to John to go for it again, to lock it up right in the middle. Is this a tap? That looks like a tap. He kept tapping. Johnny, would it, should oh, I ring the bell? He was only banging the mat, Michael. He, he banging was... the mat repeatedly, sign of a tap out. Uh, no, I think a little bit more constant tapping than that is what the referee would be looking for. Ace Wilson's reversed it. Johnny Raddick in a whole heap of pain. Johnny Raddick, big shot to the back of Ace Wilson, sends him into the ropes. Oh, Cardinal Sit down, power ball. Big sky high. Ace Wilson pinned me on that. I think he's looking at Death Valley Driver. He's not finished. Oh, is he going to be able to hold Johnny up? Oh, Johnny's right through. Rolls him up. Goes for that figure four. Oh, no. no. Ace, Ace will rolls him up. No, only two. Johnny off the ropes. Oh, Macho Man style clothesline. Macho Man or Weaver Fever style Lariat? Oh, he's up on the top rope. High cross body caught by Ace Wilson. He's Death got him up. Driver. Can he go for the cover? Two, three. Assassin Ace Wilson!